Alright guys, welcome to your fourth video and in this video we're finally going to get to the stuff you guys have all been waiting for, getting our fingers a little bit dirty and coding this game. So if you saw my last video you know that the first thing we need to do is import some crap because you know all that crap that I had you download and set up, well I didn't just do that because I was bored, we actually need that crap that we downloaded so in order to get it in our Java game we need to import it. So import orgy dot new don dot slick dot asterisk and it's going to import everything in that location because I'm too lazy to type each one out individually and we also need to import something else as well orgy dot new don dot slick dot state dot asterisk now what this is going to do is actually well I won't explain to you guys everything that it's importing. Maybe I will later on, but for now, just know that whenever we import all this stuff, it pretty much includes all the methods that we need to from the methods that we downloaded basically. So now, after this, since we're making a state-based game, Slick2D says whenever you decide to make a class using a state-based game, you need to extends state-based game. Now, this class right here is a class that's already built into Slick2D, and it just says, okay, whenever you, you're making a game with different screens, with different states, this is the class that you need to inherit from. So we say, okay, you know, if that's the way you want to play this, let's do it. We inherited it. So now we inherited all the important crap from Slick2D. What I want to do now is start coding this my way. So what I want to do is I want to set up a couple variables first, a couple common variables that we're going to need later on in our game. The first one is, of course, the name of the game itself. So, of course, we need this because we use it on the title window. Maybe we'll flash it, say, welcome to Hand Blaster. You know, it's just nice to have the name of the game in the variable. So static, final, of course, it's a string. And I'm just going to name my game name and set it equal to Ham Blaster with exclamation point there we go so after this what I'm gonna be doing is like I said this game is gonna be a very simple game at least this first one that we make just for demonstration purpose purposes it's gonna have two different screens a main menu screen which is first the first time you start the game it's gonna say welcome to hand blaster would you like to play now or exit so that's gonna be one screen and the other screen is of course you playing the game so in order to tell Java which state we're working with we need to associate it with a number so public static final int menu the main menu which I said was the first screen we have is gonna be zero you can give it any number you want actually but zeros is of course you know the most logical thing to do and the next one or the only other screen we're gonna have in this demonstration is our playing screen whenever the user is actually playing the game and we'll reference this with one so with those numbers what we can do is we now associated each state with a number so we can reference it later on whenever we need to alright so we got all that housekeeping stuff taken care of know what everything does so far now what we need to do before we hop into the main method because look at it, it's like oh my god please will somebody type something into me not yet main method because before we do that we have to work with the constructor now remember the constructor is the first method gets called whenever an object from this class is created so public game in order to create a constructor make a method with the exact same name this class is game so our method is going to be called game and what this method is going to do is it's going to take the name of the game hand blaster is a parameter so string pass it in that variable game name essentially what we're doing is passing it in hand blaster and the rationale behind this is because we want to pass it in because whenever we first create this game the first thing we want to do is create a window and put the title hand blaster at the top of the window now in order to do this you call super and pass in game name which calls the constructor for the super class which is state based game and again that's just um, another pre-built functionality that they have this is how you add a title to the top of the game top of the window so now whenever we play our game it's gonna say hand blaster on the top of the screen 
pretty sweet. So after this, Select2D says we need to add each state to the game individually. Just so our game knows that there are pretty much two screens that it's going to be working with. So in order to do that, call this, which is basically this class, add state. Oh, look, it already has it for us. And now, basically the state itself. Now, remember when I said that each state is going to be a separate class? Well, right now, if you can see at the top of your screen, we only have one class, the game class. But later on, we're going to be making individual classes for the menu and the play class. So we're going to have a menu class and a play class. So right now, it takes pretty much those objects is this parameter. So we didn't create those objects yet, so don't let this confuse you guys, but we will later on. So the first one is the menu class, which is new menu menu and the second one well I guess I might as well type it I'm not that lazy this add state and the state is new play play so what we did in this tour and the reason we're getting all these errors is because it says okay hold on menu cannot be resolved and play cannot be resolved which pretty much means that a menu and a play class don't exist yet and that's because we didn't create them yet and that's because you know we just didn't have time to create them yet but we will later on so what we did so far is we imported everything we needed to we set up all of well just a couple variables that we're going to need later on and we also added a title to the top of the window and said okay we're going to be working with two different states even though we didn't create the classes yet get ready for them so hopefully you guys understand what's going on in this tutorial if you guys don't understand anything like maybe you don't know what a constructor is or how inheritance works then go ahead and watch my beginner um, Java tutorials on my website a link below and I don't even know if I told you guys told you guys this in uh, this video I have a really bad memory but uh all of this source code is going to be available for free on my forum and I'll put a link to that below as well. So guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.